Hello, Sagittarius viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you, just whatever the cards want to say. Um, for this group, you know, your person has been working on themselves a lot the past year. Just to reiterate for those of you that are new to my channel, so this this collective group of Sagittariuses that I've been channeling the past year or so, um, if you're in this energy group, it's like your person's really been working on themselves. They've, they have some severe commitment issues that probably stem from childhood wounds, um, or just, you know, failed relationships, that sort of thing. But deep down in their heart, they actually really want a family. They want commitment. It's just something that scares them. But this person isn't shallow. You know, your person is a deep thinker. They do have a big heart. They just, you know, they're so used to not committing. They've gotten so used to just running from themselves, you know, jumping from job to job, relationship to relationship, that kind of energy. In the past year, it seems like they've maybe gone through quite a few tower moments that have, um, you know, changed their life, woken them up. Um, you know, maybe it could be job loss, uh, you know, loss in the family, um, just just major life changes that have woken them up and made them appreciate life more. So they're really, for this group, it's like your person is really starting to think about the future more and, and who they want to be and what kind of future they want to have. Because it's like they kind of just exhausted themselves from running their entire life. It's like they were always jumping around. Like they can never just slow down. It's like they they were always just so afraid. And it's like now they're realizing that as they've gotten older, they're realizing that they're lonely, that they're they're tired of that lifestyle. Like they want to settle down. They want a home. They want a family. They don't want to be, they don't want to get too much older and still be you know, alone. It's like they've, they've just, they've been running for so long that they're just exhausted. So, so for this energy group, your person has really done a lot of healing work. Your person has really, um, made some major life changes over the past year and it's, it's up and down. I mean, it's, the energy is chaotic. It's, um, you know, a couple steps forward, two, two steps forward, three or four, or you're, couple steps back I, I mean and three or four steps forward you know it's it's kind of back and forth sometimes it's like the fear is still there but they're working through it so so your person has really come a long way they've really changed they've really done a lot of healing um and introspective uh soul work this past year We've got taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other, hesitation, mixed feelings, mutual feelings, emotional depth. Make your move, green light. Finances and career. Reconciliation. Some of them are trying to get their, their careers in order before they come back around to you. So the last reading I did, I was getting that someone, so I got the energy of, of your person really hates arguing and miscommunicating, but they, they had some kind of epiphany and they're really wanting to talk to you. Like they're really thinking about things you've said or maybe like the last time they saw you. They're thinking about conversations you guys have had. Um, you know, especially this past year, it's just been like they've changed. They're not, you know what I mean? Like they used to kind of hide their heart, like kind of they were guarded, um, always running. And it's like they were just, I think they went through a dark night of the soul this past year. Like they were forced to just face themselves, to face their inner demons and deal with them. They were forced to, uh, you know, do the inner work. They had some really harsh truths that came out. So I think they're wanting to talk to you about these epiphanies. We've got magic, um, intention, power, manifestation, happiness, warmth, light.
so I kind of, let me see this. I'm just looking at this energy here. So we have taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. It's kind of like this person's just been on such a long journey that it's like you want to support them. And at the same time, you're kind of exhausted with it always being about their journey. You know, it's like you want someone that loves you and supports you on your journey too, but it seems like it's always about what this person is going through. Um, because your person's very intense. It feels like if you guys are not in contact, it kind of feels like there's like a hesitation here. Like it's going too slowly. Like they're not, you're kind of just in your power now. Like you're not pursuing them like you used to. So there's this like hesitation. They're not sure if there's still an opening feels like the feelings are mutual, but it's like they don't want to make a move until they know for sure. It also feels like they're trying to get their finances and career in order before they come forward. Like they have some stuff in the physical world presently that they're dealing with that they want to focus on and they want to get that in order before they try to come forward and have any kind of connection. But the, the desire for reconciliation is there. I feel like if you've been doing reconciliation magic, it's working on this person like they're submissive to this energy because we have submissive and then we have um, magic intention manifestation power. And so that's interesting energy seeing these two cards together. I feel like this person's also surrendering to the synchronicity because they're having these epiphanies about your connection. This person, this person's like a whole, they're, they're a whole new person. Like they've changed so much over the past year, even though it's been kind of chaotic and they've still done so much like inner work so much, you know, it's, it's, it's healing is messy. It's, it's raw. It's emotional. It's, it's not all love and light. You know, this person has had like, I just see this person, like, crying. I see, like, a lot of anger coming out. Things that they've suppressed for years coming to the surface. Um, just lots of chaotic energy. But that's part of the healing process, you know? It's like they finally stopped running. They finally started facing these inner demons and dealing with this pain. And so, you know, if you've been running for years and years, there's a lot of pain to deal with. But but they're they're dealing with it finally. They're finally facing it and embracing it and... Um, you know, finding that balance um, and, and finding good ways to release it instead of just burying it. But it feels like they're submissive to, to magic, to, to your intentions, to, you know, manifestation power. So either this is you doing magic and they're, they're um, submissive to that energy or it could also be that they're just submissive to the magic and the synchronicity of the universe and also of this connection. Because like I said, they're a whole new person. So they're really, they're more empathic. They're more open. They're more spiritual than they used to be. It's like, I think that you always knew that your person was this way, but they, they hid that. They only showed you little bits of that. It's like they were afraid of anyone really knowing them too much. They were afraid that they wouldn't be loved. They wouldn't be wanted. They were afraid of, of, wearing their heart on their sleeve. But now that side of them, that emotional loving, you know, who they are on a soul level, is it's come out. It's stronger now. So they're, they've started surrendering just to the magic of the universe, just to that, that spiritual kind of energy. So it's like before, maybe they saw synchronicities with you guys, but they kind of ignored it because they were in that energy where they weren't being their true selves. They were, they have a big heart, but they were trying to be shallow before. They were trying to just blend in with society. Like they weren't being true to themselves. So they might've seen the synchronicities with you guys before, but just kind of ignored them. Like that's, you know, swept it under the rug, like just tried to be a certain way you know they tried to have like like a certain persona they were trying to put on in front of their friends and that and family and all that but now it's like they're just really finally being true to themselves so it's like they see the synchronicity and it makes them it like opens their heart chakra up it makes them feel good like they're noticing those things that they ignored before like they're not caring about going along with society's expectations of them anymore which is really beautiful 
they're surrendering to passion, romance. Yeah, it feels like, because before I was getting that, that energy that they, there was like arguments and miscommunication between you guys before. That was the last reading I did, but it's like this person feels like they need to talk to you. Like they just had, they keep having these epiphanies. This is a consistent energy. It's not like one epiphany. It's like, no, they have epiphanies every almost seems like every two, three weeks or so, like they have another epiphany, like they look back on something that you said and they think about it differently because they're in this whole new perspective. They're this new person now. So they look back and they're like, oh, wow, like they didn't, like they weren't rejecting me. They weren't hurting me. Like they were just calling me out on my shit. Like they were just, you know, it's, it's like a lot of miscommunication. Like you guys are soulmates you know you guys are really compatible but they were just so in their head that they misinterpreted things they made assumptions they didn't really know the real you it seems like they just kind of you know made assumptions that fit their ego made assumptions that that you know they like they like to sabotage things I think or they used to they used to sabotage relationships and sabotage things and you know run away basically you know ghosting and that kind of energy and it's like they knew deep down that it was a soulmate connection, but they, you know, they denied it. They they looked for things to be wrong because it was easier for them to sabotage it and run if they could find things that were wrong. But now they're feeling the sense of home and belonging, you know, safe space. They feel like you might be defensive if they come back around, though. So that's that's the hesitation there, I think, is that it's been probably like just they had to go through a dark night of their soul. They had to go through this this path alone. And I think it's taken them a while. And so they're really not sure where you're at at this point. They're not sure if you would still be open to them or not. It's probably it's probably been quite a while since you guys have talked for some of you. And if this is your story and you want me to look more in depth into it, like what this person, you know, because this is just a general reading for this group of Sagittarius's that watch my video on what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting. But if you want me to go more in depth into, you know, who this person is specifically, uh, what they're feeling, just any details that you want, just send me an email. I do paid private readings. My email is right below this video in the description box. The email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And any donations are appreciated too, even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal and Cash App is also below, so thank you guys so much for that. Trapped blocks tied up. I feel like for some of you, like the cords between you guys need to be cleansed. I don't know if some of you want to cut the cords. Um, but some of, I think for some of you, the cords need to at least be cleansed because you have these cords astrally that basically connect you to your person, you know, or connect you to your soulmates, to twin flames, to those kind of connections. And if there's been a lot of arguments and just this history of betrayal arguments, uh, jealousy, confusion, um, miscommunication, just that kind of energy, those cords can kind of get dirty. So it's like you're still picking up on each other's energy, but there's, it's like sometimes it's negative. So those cords kind of need to be like cleared, like, you know, cleansed out, cleared, um, strengthened if you guys want to keep this connection going. There might be some things in the past that you guys need to forgive each other for as well that might be part of why these cords are dirty. You know, things that happened in the past where it's like, you guys got to decide, is that going to affect this relationship or are you going to move forward together? Loyalty, stability, vows. Cold guarded distrusting. I 
feel like they're planning right now. Let me see. Because this energy doesn't feel quite as intense as the last reading. Like the last reading, I think, because I'm psychics always channel the current energy. So like when I do these readings, it's like I'm channeling, you know, your person's current energy. Like this is, you know what I mean? Like this is this is what they're feeling and thinking like in this moment as I'm channeling them. This is like the general current energy. So like a couple of weeks ago when I did that Sagittarius reading, I, I felt like a very intense energy, like they just needed to talk to you. Like they probably had an epiphany like that night or like within a few days of that reading that I did. Um, it just seemed like a very urgent need. Like there was, like they realized something about the last time you guys talked, like something about like an argument or like miscommunication or something. Like they're kind of realizing something that you said that they didn't understand before. Like maybe they took it as like you rejecting them or you not wanting them. Um, and now they're looking at it and they're like, oh, that's what this person meant by that. Like they're, they're kind of, they're understanding, um, they, they, they're, they've become a different person. So with that become, comes a new perspective where they can look back on the past with a, you know, completely differently. They can look back on the past and the things that made them shut down or made them defensive before are now kind of opening them up. Like they're taking it as constructive criticism, whereas before it was just an attack. They just didn't hear you. But now they're they're understanding. There's just a lot of things that they're understanding more. They're in this very spiritual, very awakened energy. And that's been pretty consistent for them. But it's it's like it's getting strong. Like they've really changed. I mean, these these changes seem like they're they're pretty solid and consistent, even though it does go back and forth sometimes. But in general, like the readings I've been doing, if you guys have been following me, this energy has been getting better and better. Um, so that, that energy felt more intense. Like there was like a, a recent epiphany that they had just had where they would just like, they just wanted to tell you something about what they realized about your conversation or something they just really wanted to say. I don't know if they said it or not. Um, did you guys hear from them? I'm not sure. This feels more like King or Queen of Pentacles type energy or like Knight of Pentacles. Like it's, it's not as fast and rushed, but it, it feels more stable. Like we've got loyalty, stability vows. So it seems like and we had finances and career and reconciliation. So it kind of feels like, well, it seems like a couple of things. For one thing, it seems like they're really not sure how you feel about them because we got that hesitation, mixed feelings. We got cold, guarded, distrusting. And I'm kind of feeling like they're in this loyal, stable energy, this kind of night energy wanting to make promises but they're not wanting to be too hasty. And they think that you're probably in this cold guarded, distrusting energy. They're assuming that you're probably angry or you're, you're upset or you're defensive. Like they're kind of thinking you're probably not too open right now because maybe they messed up before, or maybe it's just been a while since you guys have talked. So it feels like this kind of like they have this like scary sense of uncertainty. They're just not sure what to do next. But it almost feels like if they knew the feelings were mutual, it's like they'd want to move forward. So they might be like trying to figure it out right now. I see them wanting to come in, but it seems like they're wanting to come in like stable and steady, not just rushing in, you know. And they are finally realizing that you are their happiness, their warmth, their, their light. Like they're seeing you in this like angelic light that they... Maybe it didn't seem like they seemed you in that, seed you that, see, oh my gosh, did I say seed? What the hell? <laughs> maybe you planted a seed. Maybe that's what I'm trying to, maybe you planted a seed with something you said or did. Um, I have no idea why I said seed. <laughs> it seems like they didn't, maybe they didn't see you that way before, but, or like they didn't seem like they did at least, but now it's like they are seeing you in this like angelic sort of light. It seems like they've got a lot going on in their life, though. It does seem like they are trying to get their finances. They might have hit some financial blocks recently, um, like job loss, because we, we have been getting those tower moments with this group consistently. So they might have hit, yeah, maybe job loss or just in general, maybe entrepreneurship, like they're trying to work on something with their career or their, their hobbies, their skill set. There, there's some things in the physical that they're trying to focus on. And I think it's also wanting to be good enough for you. Like they're wanting to, to come with a solid offer. They're wanting to come in like a better energy. Like they want to be proud of themselves and they want you to be proud of them. They don't want to come back, you know, with the same old energy as before. They want to come back 
you know, with a better job than what they had before, more, more, more money, more, you know, more stability financially and also in other areas of their life. So there is some self-focus here, but it's like they are, they are thinking about you and they are noticing the synchronicities and the signs and their spirit guides kind of pushing them towards you. Um, so like I said, they, they probably before, I think there was, I think there's always been synchronicity when this, with this connection. I think that this is like a soulmate connection. So I think the synchronicity has always been there, but I think before, like I was saying, I think they might not have been as open to it. They were kind of in this different mentality. So they, it didn't align with their ego, with their current perspective. So they just brushed it to the side, but now they're really letting their heart open up. They're letting themselves be moved by these synchronicities. Their, their spirit guides are trying to urge them back to you is what I'm feeling. So it does feel like there is that desire for reconciliation. It just kind of feels slow and steady to me right now, just in this current energy. Like they're trying to focus on this, on, on career finances, um, self, you know, continuing to better themselves, better their life. Um, and the other thing that's preventing them from reaching out, as I feel, is, you know, the uncertainty, just, you know, a lot of time has gone by. So I think they're not really sure what to say, especially if you guys argued before, it might be kind of awkward. Like they're just, they don't really know how to, they don't know how to, they want to pick up where you guys left off, but they don't know how to do that. And they don't know if you're open to doing that. So right now they're just kind of enjoying the spiritual energy, just noticing the synchronicities, just having faith that if this is meant to be, you guys are going to be led back to each other again. Um, I really think that they've like gone to a psychic or they've just maybe realized that you guys are soulmates. Like I get that kind of spiritual energy, like just almost like I see your person like out in public and it's like they get like a sign or some kind of synchronicity or like they see like 11 11 or they see like me birds I don't know do birds remind some of them of you or something like or like they see something on the sidewalk like a feather or a leaf or just whatever like they see the, all these like little signs and it's like they smile and they they're understanding the spiritual nature of the universe now like they're they're understanding that energy now and it's making them happy and it's giving them hope that you know, divine timing is going to take place and you guys are just going to somehow be led back to each other. And I think they just don't know how to do that themselves though. Like they don't know, maybe they don't have an opportunity to run into you. So they're not sure how to make this happen. So right now they're just kind of, you know, opening themselves up. Like if it's meant to be, it's going to be, um, just kind of focusing on this energy, like trying to better themselves, but there's still this like, it's like a lot going on behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Like a lot of synchronicity spirit guides pushing you guys together. Um, you know, continuing to work on them, like their heart chakra, their spirituality. It's like, it's all opening up more and more. Um, they feel like they're in a very loving, very spiritual, very romantic, very empathic energy right now. Like they're really just seeing the beauty in life right now. It's a very beautiful spiritual energy. Um, even if they are having financial issues, I feel like they're trying to focus on like getting through that and they're trying to focus on um, just, you know, bettering themselves. But yeah, it feels like that's where they're at right now. It seems like they want to make these promises to you. They want to be stable. They want to be loyal. They want to come through with promises. They just don't know if you're receptive. Um... And it's kind of like they're seeing the synchronicities there. So they're feeling like, okay, this is still like a soulmate connection. There's still potential here. But like physically, it's like they might be having dreams about you too. Like there's a very strong psychic connection between you guys. Like the synchronicity is very strong for you too right now is what I'm feeling. But I just get the sense that like they don't know how to message you. It's like the desire is there, but it's like awkward. I think if you guys fought before, then they're like, Oh, what, like, what do I say after that? You know, it's like an ego thing too. Like pride, like they're not wanting to like, they just don't know what to say. They don't know what, they don't know what kind of energy you're in. They're really like, I can, I can get this. I keep getting the sense like the synchronicity makes them really happy. Like it really inspires them and motivates them. But like they don't know what to do with that energy. It's almost like they see 1111 or they hear your name out in public or like they, you know, see a, see a wedding dress or something. And then like when they see that, like they someone mentions, you know, your name or something like that. It's just 
like like synchronicity like that and it like makes them smile and it makes them happy and then they feel good and they feel spiritual they feel like okay this is this could very well be destiny like I'm open to this but then it's like they don't really do anything with that energy they just kind of like dream about you when they're like well if this is meant to be we're gonna run into each other again it all it'll happen like the universe will bring it together um somehow but they're not like taking action they're just kind of like trusting the universe to bring it together but it's like they need to take action on their part to message you most likely if you guys you know unless you guys have some way that you can bump into each other um if you do have a way you can bump into each other they might be planning on how to do that but for a lot of you I feel like you don't have a way to bump into each other so it's like they don't know what to do um but they're just kind of going with the flow right now just whatever happens happens like opening their hearts up so it's a good energy that they're in I would just like to see them taking more action. It's, you know, but I think like I was saying too, I think the uncertainty is also part of that. Like they don't really know what energy you're in. So they're not sure. And you know, it always, I mean, these, you know, it's, it's been a consistent story. Like this is, if this is your energy group, it's the same, you know, it's the same story, but it's like, it always changes. It depends on what energy they're in. Like this is a little bit different than it was a couple weeks ago. Um, a couple weeks ago, like I was saying, it was very urgent. Like they just needed to talk to you right then. They had an epiphany. Right now it seems more like just steady but spiritual open energy. So it's still good. It's just not as – they're not feeling quite the same urgent need to, to talk to you as, as they were. But they're still wanting to talk to you. They're still wanting the reconciliation. It just seems like they're just not sure what to do. So they're just kind of going with the flow. Choose a path. Okay, well, what do those paths look like? sadness new perspective they're starting to realize that they were the cause of their own sadness and that you know this new perspective has changed them they can listen and understand now it's like yeah pride and stubbornness or clubs party social life domination control hmm they, are, they might be wanting to get into a more dominant energy, and this could also be them. Do you guys, like, have, like, some of you might have, like, a mutual club that you go to that maybe it's closed right now, but maybe when it opens, they're thinking about going back to try to find you there. Um, or some kind of, like, social place, because it almost seems like they're trying to, like, it seems like there's an awareness here that they need to be more dominant and that they need to take control. They're just not sure how to do that right now. And they're, they kind of, there's like this awareness that they can choose between, you know, this path, which is sadness, pride, stubbornness, or they can step up, you know? So that's good that they're having that awareness, at least. I think they just don't know how to do it. So right now they're just kind of enjoying the synchronicities. But um, I hope that helped you guys. Uh, and like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below. I can look more in depth into this situation, what this person's thinking, feeling, wanting, whatever you want to know about this situation, really. And like I said, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. Um, my, my cash app and PayPal is below. And please resonate if it, if it or please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you guys for watching.